We are certainly right now in this country out of the pandemic phase. Those are not my words. That was from Dr. Anthony Fauci on Tuesday. COVID has, however, forever changed the way we work. With more on that, we're joined by Yahoo Finance senior columnist and the author of the new book, In Control at 50 Plus, How to Succeed in the New World of Work. Uh, good to see you, Carrie. So let's, tell, let's talk about some of the differences in work moving forward. The obvious is work from home. But what are the changes that are going to be with us forever? Absolutely. Thanks so much. I'm so excited about this book because, you know, truthfully, the pandemic really did profoundly change the workplace. And the five big trends I see coming out of it are, yeah, like you just said, remote work is just pedal to the metal, right? It had started before the pandemic, but this just zoomed straight ahead. It's the genie's out of the bottle here. It's never going back. Number two, entrepreneurship is hot. I mean, entre they, it is really just lit up. And third thing, contract work, right? Contract work has exploded as well. Now, this has good and bad uh, things for older workers particularly, but also um, career change. It used to be if you changed careers, you were an outlier, you were an amazing risk taker. Oh my gosh, do you have enough runway to do that? But now it's very accepted. A lot of people did that, you know, soul searching and said, hey, you know, I'd really rather be doing this. And they redeployed their skills that direction. And the final thing, the fifth trend, that I see coming out is learning. Virtual learning has absolutely, you know, the offerings online just took off. There's so many opportunities to reskill. And if you're not learning, you're not earning. That's how and why I got my real estate license during the pandemic. I'm curious about contract positions. You talk about the good and the bad of it. Is there a downside to how much of our economy is working contract positions because they don't have protections in terms of retirement? They don't have protections in terms of benefits, health care, et cetera. You are spot on. That is exactly the issue right there. And this is for workers of all ages, because the truth is, if you're looking to still have an employer provider health plan or retirement plan, this is something you need to pay attention to. Because, yeah, for for employers, oh, my goodness, this is great. You know, it's a real cost saver because they get some incredible talent. But for an individual, you're going to have to take on this stuff yourself. And I think it has a huge impact on future financial security. So it's really worth paying attention to. On the other side, the positive thing is if you're out of work, it keeps your resume alive, right? It gets you in the door someplace. They may say, hey, I like what he or she is doing. Let's keep them, bring them on full time. So it offers opportunity, but it also has that drawback. And it sure will be interesting a year from now where we settle in on work from home versus return to office. We're still kind of in that transition stage. The book is In Control at 50 Plus. Carrie, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.